Okay, let's begin this problem. Uh, let's read it first. It says simplify by performing the indicated operations and combining like terms. And the problem itself reads 2 times the quantity 3x plus 4 plus x. And they want us to simplify this problem. So let's see how you do on your own. And I'll just give you a hint. The first step is you would you want to get rid of the parentheses. So go ahead and put it on pause and see how you do on your own. And we'll come back and see how you did. Okay, welcome back. Let's see how you did do. I get for an answer for this problem, let me see, 6x plus x, I get 7x plus Eight. If you got 7x plus 8, you must know what you're doing. So move on to the next problem. And if you didn't get it right, let's go through it. So the first step is to get rid of the parentheses. And we can't just drop the parentheses and take them away. We need to do something here. And this indicates multiplication we will use the distributive property. So we're going to take 2 and multiply it times 3x and then we're going to take the 2 and multiply it times 4. So 2 times 3x is 6x and plus because there's a plus sign there and what's 2 times 4? That's 8 and the parentheses are gone. And then we still have this plus x. Okay, so we've got 6x plus another x. It's time to combine like terms. Both of these have, uh, let's change colors here. Both of these have uh, x's in them. Both of these two terms have x's in them. So we can go ahead and add those two terms together the coefficient of this term is invisible but it's understood to be 1. 6x plus 1x is 7x and then we have this plus 8. The constant is all by itself so we have 7x plus 8. That is the answer for the first problem. Let's look at problem number two here. And let me change colors. It's the same instructions. We're supposed to simplify this. We would like to remove the parentheses. And it reads negative two times this quantity here, which is y squared plus three y minus five. And then we're going to subtract from that this quantity here, which is y squared minus y plus one. Once again, give it a try. Hit pause, see how you do, and we'll come back and see what your answer is. Okay, welcome back. My answer is as follows. I'm getting, let's see, I think I'm getting a negative 3y squared. How are you doing? Are we getting the same thing? I have a minus 6y, let's see, plus 1y, that would be minus 5y, I believe. And then I get, let's see, 10 minus 1, plus 9. If you got the same answer that I did, and I hope I did that correctly, if you got that answer, go ahead and move on to the third and final problem. If you didn't, let's check and see what the answer should truly be. I'm not 100% sure that I did it right a second ago, so let's see. 
we need to distribute again. The first step is to remove parentheses. We've got two sets of parentheses here. Let's distribute this negative 2 in three places here because we've got three terms inside of the parentheses. So we want to multiply negative 2 times y squared. And that's really times 1y squared. Negative 2 times 3y, we want to do that multiplication. And we also want to do negative 2 times that negative 5 out there. Negative 2 times 1y squared gives us what? Negative 2y squared. And then uh, plus a negative 2 times 3y is plus negative 6y. We can just write down negative 6y or subtract 6y. And finally, negative 2 times negative 5 is positive, positive 10. Okay, one set of parentheses is gone. Now out here, we could do the same thing. We could put a number in here, and what would that number be? Well, it would be 1. We could put a 1 in there and distribute the 1, that ne negative 1 throughout all three terms. But I think an easier way to do this, and it's just as valid, is this says uh, subtract, and subtract means add the opposite. So all we need to do is take the opposite of every single term in here. So the opposite of positive y squared is negative y squared. The opposite of a negative y is positive y. And lastly, the opposite of 1 is negative 1. OK, now it's time to combine like terms. And let's see. So uh, there's a y squared term and another y squared term. So those two are alike. Uh, what else do we have that's alike here? We have negative 6y and another y out here, plus 1y. There's an invisible 1 in there. I think I'll go ahead and put it in, plus 1y. And let's see, finally we have the constant terms, two of them. There's a plus 10 right here and a negative or subtract 1 out here. Let's put them all together. So we have a negative 2y squared minus 1y squared. That would be a negative 3y squared. So far, so good. We have negative 6y and plus 1y, negative 6 plus 1. Just combine the coefficients, add the coefficients together. We get negative 5y. And then for the constant term, we have 10 minus 1 is 9. So it does look like this is the right answer up here. We've simplified that problem. This is the third and final problem. So let's see how you do on this one. It says uh, a minus x plus 4 that quantity, plus 3, plus 2 times 3x minus 2. Hit pause, see how you do. We'll come back and compare answers. OK, are you ready? I get a negative x. Let's see, negative x plus 6x. I get a 5x. Did you get that? And let's see, I get a negative 4 there and a negative 4 out there. That's a negative 8. Negative 8 plus 3 is negative 5. So I think I get 5x subtract 5. And I see I've taken up too much time. So we're out of time. I hope you got that answer. If you didn't, make comments and we will do that problem at another time.
See ya.